A radio station is holding a job fair next week that is just for women. But it won't let a group that hires only women to attend. Patrick Fraser explains why in our night team special assignment report, Job Fair. They are two organizations with absolutely nothing in common, and then their paths crossed. I did it to help somebody have a child who couldn't. Jeanette Zebra was a surrogate mother carrying the embryo from a couple who could not have a child. There are single women who do it to supplement their income. There are stay-at-home moms to help supplement their income as well, and then they get to stay home with the kids. Today, she still sees the twins she carried and their parents in what she calls a life-altering delivery. To look at what I helped create, this beautiful family and these beautiful little girls, just the opportunity to be a part of something so amazing. Jeanette was so amazed by what a surrogate could do, she joined with Jeff Kasky to create a company called Life Through Surrogacy. A surrogate could also be a full-time stay-at-home parent and still be a surrogate. It's really for everyone who's interested. It's worth at least looking into it. This is The Rich Stevens Show on 850 WFTL. As we spoke to Kasky, a few miles away, a conservative radio station was on the air. WFTL's Resumes and Roses has something for every woman looking for a career. WFTL is promoting a job fair next week just for women, hoping to connect them with companies wanting to hire women. The spectrum is amazing, really. It's everybody from Home Depot to New York Life to Caraba's Restaurant. Thousands and thousands of women getting employment and hopefully moving into a career path that they want. That's really the goal. Kasky's surrogacy group found out about the job fair, and that's when the two companies finally crossed paths. We wanted to set up a booth or a table as a vendor at this particular event. Kasky says a woman carrying a child for a couple has paid anywhere from $25,000 to $35,000. WFTL said a group promoting surrogacy is not welcome at its women's job fair. Their excuse was that they only wanted what they called traditional employers. The radio station general manager says that's true. Our position is really very simple. Number one, this is a career event. This isn't a one-off compensation project event. Kasky doesn't believe that's the reason the conservative station won't allow a surrogacy group into the job fair. Conservatives, generally speaking, still seem to fear women's rights and women's reproductive rights. Lapa says, not true. I like fear. You know, from his position, everybody's entitled to their opinion. It isn't really a fit with what we're trying to do at this event, and it's really that simple. Kasky says it simply makes no sense for a job fair only for women to bar a company that only hires women. I think that it's, it's a shame that women who might be interested in, in doing this service for other people uh, don't get exposed to this sort of thing in the type of environment where they're actually looking for some type of work. Kasky wants to pay women tens of thousands of dollars. WFTL wants to help women get jobs. But in this case, the two will not meet. I'm Patrick Frazier, 7 News. If you'd like more information about becoming a surrogate mother or to find out about the WFTL Women's Job Fair in Broward next week, links to both are on our website at WSVN.com. Just look under Patrick's Job Fair story.